In this video, we are going to discuss about identifying mathematical operations. As you know, the computer understands only ones and zeros. All instructions that are given to the computer have to be implemented in the form of arithmetic operations or logical comparisons. So these are very very important to any software. Why? Because they occupy memory space. All the operations need memory to function. They take time in execution. They determine the software efficiency. If the logical operations or mathematical operations have not been implemented efficiently, the efficiency of the whole software will come down and then it will affect the performance of the software. Due to this importance of mathematical operations, the system analysts try to identify all the major operations during the design phase itself. Once they have zeroed in on the solution, they look at all the flow charts, algorithms or data flow diagrams that they have drawn and identify all the mathematical operations that have been used in the processes and make a list or a repository of that so that they know beforehand how many mathematical operations need to be carried out and this information is passed to the coders in the next phase. So here we have seen how mathematical operations are very important for software development or very important for the system analyst to make a list of. In our previous few videos, we have discussed how the tools can be used by system analyst to arrive at one solution. In our next video, we are going to discuss about some modular techniques that can be applied to break the program into further modules that can be coded easily.